trust is everything in almost any relationship that we want to talk about, whether it's human to human or human to horse or your dog or your cat or anything else. When they don't trust you, then the relationship breaks down. I'm going to drop my eyes and bring my shoulders away from him on a 45 degree angle to his body axis, which is inviting him to come to me. And he answers. Now I'm going to walk away from Ziggy and see if I can get him not only to join up, but to follow up. As I walk away, I would like him to find that he likes to be with me, rather than demanding that he be with me. Now I'm going to clip on, and I would like it if Ziggy would allow me to put my hands all over his body, but particularly in the vulnerable areas, high where the cats go and low where the dogs go. My hands in there will tell you that he's trusting me more than he did when he came in here. He wasn't willing to stand with me when he came in. And he certainly wasn't willing to come to me when he came in. But now he is. I would like to pick up each of his feet. The average horse owner can use the lessons of trust, not only with their horses, but in their own relationships with people. So in fact, Horses can teach us how to get along with our children and our spouses and our partners and our friends and our business associates. They really can because creating trust is essential in all of those relationships. So each owner of a horse, whether they just ride them down the road on the weekend and love them to death or in their high level competition, they need trust. It's essential. <laughs>